Great. Okay, well, part of the challenge of this is not really a challenge, it's just a habit. You're not really going to do anything other than what you're already doing. What you're training is not the way you're breathing, but the quality of attention and listening you have to your breathing. So if you notice the way, and maybe this is even better because people say, oh, as soon as I start paying attention to my breath, I change it to start holding my breath. It's like, great, then you're aware of it. But maybe to even start with, if you want to put your hand on your chest so that you can feel your heart beating. And just notice maybe it's beating fast, maybe it's beating slowly, maybe it's beating hard or very softly. And maybe your attention goes away from feeling it at all. That's why your hand is nice to be here. That's great if it does. However your heart is beating right now, it is perfectly attuned and responsive to the setting of your life as it is right now. Your heart won't randomly start beating faster or slower. And if you're really attentive, you might notice that when you breathe in, it speeds up just a little bit. When you breathe out, your heartbeat slows down just a little bit, or a lot, depending on your situation. However it is, though, you can notice it is exactly attuned to the needs of your body-mind as it is right now. And you don't have to do anything to coerce it into working. Your heart's already working beautifully, especially for you in your life. From that same contact of where your hand is right now, you can also feel that your body's breathing. You are breathing. Maybe you're breathing deeply, or maybe you're breathing more shallowly. Maybe faster, maybe slower. Just like your heart, your breathing right now is a perfect match for the needs, the situation, the history, and the moment. And this body mind, your life, that's how this breathing is. And then the actual practice, other than the contact that you're giving yourself, if you listen this way, which is generous, is not coercive. It's the quality of contact that stays with this movement of your breathing. You know, we use a word like breath as if there's an object here. It's not. There's a process an alive, responsive, adaptive, intelligent process expressed as this pulsation, this tide of movement in your body. And this tide is not only woven into your metabolic needs, it's an expression, as you, I'm sure, know of your emotional experience. If you're angry, your body will breathe differently than if you're sad, than if you're relaxed and in love or stressed about something that's very important to you. Your body will very wisely and even artistically find exactly 
the right breathing. To express and conduct that emotional experience. And same for your mental world and every part of you really will have some expression in this tide that you're feeling right now. And of all those potentials, anytime you encounter something that you want to resist, something you want to say no to, something you want to keep out, you will force or resist this movement in some way. And that's a good thing. You can draw a boundary even when the boundary around you isn't safe, isn't respected. You can draw a boundary with the breathing and the way that you breathe. You can say no to what's happening. Say no to your experience inside or out. And that will show up as, again, a forcing, maybe breathing harder or withdrawing, slowing down or even stopping your breath entirely for a time. So the practice itself is to be with that, to notice when you're breathing and to notice when you resist or force your breathing, which doesn't mean to make yourself breathe when you're resisting your breathing. It means to recognize, contact, and honor that And then if you would like the practice element of it, it isn't whether you can do this. The question is, are you doing it right now? And the practice is, are you doing it right now? I'm breathing. And I'm with my breathing. saying yes, even to where I'm saying no, maybe especially where I'm saying no. And this other mysterious and miraculous cycle of how the inhale of receiving the world around you is fulfilled and turns into the exhale of releasing and returning to the world around you. And then beginning that cycle again. And that is the practice that if you do, so you breathe, they say around 26,000 times a day, you could do a thousand reps a day for the rest of your life and it might lead somewhere you would never expect from where you started.